You've probably seen a connect the dots puzzle before. It's a puzzle that consists of a collection of dots on a piece of paper with a number associated to each dot where the goal is to draw lines between dots with consecutive numbers. The idea is that the resulting drawing then forms a nice image. Now I say puzzle in quotation marks because it's not really a particularly challenging task. They are mostly directed at young children but are quite popular. They appear in many mixed puzzle booklets or holiday do-books for kids, and you can even find dedicated puzzle booklets with just connected dots puzzles. Now, there are two things about connected dots puzzles that intrigued us. Firstly, can't we make these puzzles a little more interesting and maybe also keep them challenging for older children? And secondly, how are these puzzles actually made? Who makes them and isn't that a rather boring job? One of the problems with connected dots puzzles, or at least undesirable aspects from an aesthetical point of view, is the fact that there are these numbers in the puzzle. Of course, they are necessary to know how to connect the dots, but once you connected the dots, the numbers are still there and they make your picture ugly. But if we don't have numbers, how do we know which dots to connect? Well, we just need some other way of indicating this information. Maybe we can use little arrows, just point to the right dot to connect to. Or we could say each dot must be connected to the closest other dot. Now that way we cannot really make interesting drawings, but if we use dots in a few different colors then we can. Or instead of connecting dots to their closest neighbors, we could also use a fixed distance to indicate which dot should be connected. If we connect all dots that are a distance exactly one from each other, we can still make nice drawings even without using colors. So, how do you make a classical connected dots puzzle? Well, you would start with drawing a picture that you want the solution of the puzzle to look like. Then, you put some dots on the puzzle in strategic locations and you number them. A fairly straightforward, if somewhat time-consuming, task. But with our new variants, there's another aspect that comes into play. Ambiguity. That is, it should be clear which dot should be connected and which should not. If I want to connect a yellow dot to the closest other yellow dot, I need to know which one that is, and preferably without having to resort to a ruler or a reticule. And if I have a little arrow pointing to another dot, I need to know which dot it points to. This aspect is somewhat hard to judge by hand, and placing the dots in a non-ambiguous way is not quite trivial. So, creating connected dots puzzles is time-consuming, and especially in the case of our new variants, susceptible to human error. Now, of course, we cannot really hope to automate the creation of connected dots puzzles completely, since that would require teaching a computer to draw. But... Wouldn't it be cool if we can give it a drawing and then let it do the placement of the dots in such a way that there's guaranteed to be no ambiguity? We modeled this problem mathematically. We are given a planar embedded graph and want to create a straight edge graph which is somehow close to the input graph and which then has all kinds of nice well-defined properties like not too many vertices or dots and no ambiguity which is modeled differently for each variant. But unfortunately, even the simplest version of this question is it even possible to place dots with separation at least delta and distance to the input graph at most epsilon? Already turns out to be MP hard, as can be seen from this fairly simple reduction from planar 3 set. However, it seems to be possible to make decent puzzles by hand, so maybe we can still come up with some algorithms that perform similarly? We implemented several heuristics to generate connected dots puzzles. The heuristics are based on classic line simplification algorithms, such as developed by Douglas and Poiker or Imai and Iri, but augmented with specialized optimizations specific to our different variants. The generation process is controlled by two parameters, a quality parameter and an ambiguity parameter. The quality parameter governs how much the result looks like the original drawing. There's a trade-off here. Better quality results in nicer pictures, but needs more points, which also means that the end result is more likely to be already visible in the puzzle. The ambiguity parameter specifies how clear it is which points should be connected. In a way, one could see it as a difficulty parameter that can be used to make more challenging puzzles, but also the lower the ambiguity parameter, the less restricted the generator is, resulting in nicer pictures. To summarize, we introduced three new variants of connected dots puzzles, and we implemented heuristics to generate all four types. We tentatively conclude that for some drawings, the results from our generator seem to be comparable to handmade puzzles and may be suitable for use in practice. I hope you enjoyed this video.